So I'm going to do a little demonstration here that is supposed to showcase glaciers melting and like how it affects the sea level. So Emily's going to help me here by um, acting as like the person that I'm talking to. And so this bucket is about halfway full, so it's going to be like the glacier that's melting. And I'm going to pour the bucket into the tank and we're going to see how much it rises. So Emily, if you would take a guess of how much the sea level is going to rise. Yeah, so I mean, I think that bucket's pretty big, so I kind of want to say that it's going to rise at least this much. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I was off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your guess was a little high, but that's because um, glaciers melting doesn't cause the sea level to rise significantly, but it does still have an important effect. Um, since uh, 1900, the sea level has risen seven inches, which may not sound like a lot, but even in small increase like that, um, really amplifies the effects of storm surges and it can um, destroy ecosystems and displace communities. So, um, you know, it's, it's actually a really important thing and glaciers melting isn't the only reason that the sea level rises. Um, because of the increase of greenhouse gases uh, and the increase in temperature of the, of the earth, um, like heat increases or expands the volume of water. So um, thermal expansion is what it's called and that has a pretty big effect on the increase in sea level as well.